who's got the hots for you that's what we're looking at today welcome back to hope to have a daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england this tarot reading is between you your intuition and the universe who's got the hots for you i'm going to pull a couple of cards dip into the charms move through to the oracles and see what's going on Gonna split the deck into four four elements, four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. And I think is it we also need to know, is it an ex? Is it someone that's coming next? We want to know, is it someone fresh and new? Is it someone that you don't like? Uh, Queen of Cups, that's nice. So this person could well be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm going to pull one other card, Page of Cups as well, connecting with, yeah, connecting with the teenage butterflies in you. Um, so we're going to go with a water sign then, I think. I'm going to pull some charms, see what other clues we can get about this person. Who's got the hots for you? Within a circle of protection, we're going to give the charms, ask the charms to give as much detail about who this person is as possible. Okay, the said just ran off. Um, maybe even waiting for a while for this person to declare how they feel. So I'm going to put them there because they're the intentions of the reading. Um, Zed, you may have been waiting for a while for this person to declare how they feel, or they may be waiting for you as well. We've got a T. Maybe their initial, maybe your initial. We've got an U. You are important. And we also have an M. But it spells out Tum. Could spell out Tim, I guess. It's Tum, Tum, Tum. What does that mean? That'll have a meaning for somebody. So we have a sunshine, abundance, joy, happiness, success, warmth, the empress as well. Um, yeah. We have a hair comb. Absolutely lovely. This person feels really nice. The tree of life. And it's in, it's in a negative form. It's saying... There's potential here for this to grow and bloom into the tree of life. And it's almost like an X-ray of it. It's like what it could possibly be and um, where it could go, what it could grow into, the potential of it. I don't think you've had a relationship with this person before. You may have known for a while that they like you and you've been waiting for them to come forward or you've liked them for a while and you've been waiting for them to get on the same page. And then we have footprints these always remind me of footprints in the sand for whatever reason i think we're dealing with a water sign hang on we've got another one in here we also have a y yes 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 may also be asking tummy why have we got tummy on the table what sense does that make for you what sense? That doesn't even make any sense we're not making any sense right now i think you tie this person in knots which is really nice. So the Page of Cups is all about imagination, good news coming in, creativity, those teenage butterflies of when our hormones start raging, feeling like a teenager again. The Queen of Cups is affectionate, compassionate. You may have an intuitive link with this person. Again, I'm gonna say, I think you may be saying to this person, why is it taking you so long? Or maybe they're gonna say to you, why have you taken it so long to realize that I like you? It's almost like they've been holding back They've been holding back. Um, but there's an innocence here. There's a niceness here. So I don't think it's an ex. I do think it's a next. Someone that's coming in. Um, or someone who you just haven't had a relationship with. Because it feels innocent. It feels there's no taint in here. There's no anything like that that I'm picking up. Um, it's like this could potentially go somewhere really very nice. I'm going to split this into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly, four angels. Just want more information. So I'm going to do a nine card spread, see what comes up, what's been holding them up. The tower reversed. Okay. The ten of wands reversed. So that may be signifying you. The hair of that card reversed. I think they've been divorced. Maybe you've been divorced. It feels like a divorce with the hair of that card reversed. Sometimes it's like an unconventional wedding. But within this, I'm picking up a divorce with the tower reversed. And it may have been a long drawn out divorce. Maybe yours. Maybe theirs. One of you. 
and and that's what the hold up has been i think they've liked you for a very very long time if you're in a third party situation maybe i don't know it feels like someone fresh and new and you haven't it feels like nothing here has been ruined between the connection between you both maybe you're both divorced maybe that's what it is maybe you both had you know breakups where one person's had to move out and like big eruption changes and the ten of wands reversed is just taken a while before going back into relationships again um we've got the six of swords reversed the death card reversed yeah they've been waiting for the right moment we've also got the knight of cups definitely a water sign i think um we've got the six of swords reversed which is half-hearted effort they didn't want to move on too quickly they wanted to resolve everything they wanted to resolve um which is nice that is nice i think that that you know they're like okay this chapter of my life i do think we're dealing with a divorcee here um but they're getting ready for it they you've You've connected to something with them. And I don't know why tummy and feet are on the table. Maybe they like tummies and feet. Maybe they've got a foot fish. <laughs> For some reason, I've got in my head, like, someone blowing raspberries on somebody else's tummy. Why is that in my head? Like, what's that about? Uh, <laughs> it's not something I like. That's in my head. So you can have that. That's nothing to do with me. Um could just be butterflies in the stomach i guess like yeah <laughs> but the death cards reverse they they aren't moving on too quick but i think during this divorce process they've been having an eye on you and you may know them from work or friends or or somewhere like that but they've been waiting for the right time and that's really respectful and um it means they didn't want to drag you into the mess of it uh, the Knight of Cups is all about that path being wide, wide open. The Ace of Wands, very nice. The Six of Pentacles, very nice. The Eight of Swords, reversed. They're really nervous about telling you. They think you're going to reject them. The Six of Pentacles is they pay their way in the world. Um, you pay your way in the world. It's give and take. It's a natural flow of energy between two people. The Ace of Wands, this could be something really magical, but they're going to leave it up to you. It's almost like they're going to put it on the table for you to decide what to do with it. And it may take you, you may make them wait a bit. And it may make them really nervous with the Eight of Swords reversed. They, they're they not um, someone who's like really sure. Um, sometimes when someone says, I really like you, they're pretty sure that you know they know that you like them as well. There's no certainty here. It's almost like when they do tell you, when they do come forward and tell you, it's a risk for them because what you do with that then decides what happens next. And it could be that you don't like them and you're not interested. I've got a feeling you are going to like them though. And I've got a feeling you probably know who this is. So they just seem like a really respectful, level-headed kind of person making each other feel like teenagers again that can't be a bad thing can i pull from the psychic tarot oracle deck see what other information we can have awareness mm, yeah they've got no clue how you're going to respond they just don't um and they're they're very keen on doing the right thing partnerships and alliances absolutely lovely but they're not taking it for granted. Memories of love, they have been very keen to put the past behind them so that they can move forward. So if there was someone who you you were interested in and they and you approached them and they said, I'm going through a really messy divorce or anything, and you thought, oh, they're just using it as an excuse. No, this genuinely feels like this person has been putting their ducks in a row, you know, doing what they need to do so that they can't get pulled back into nonsense uh, you know divorces are messy um and letting go of the past as well i just they just come across as really respectful very grown up um they'll take you on very nice dates anything you want to do tell them they'll make it happen pretty sure they'll have like surprises for you as well gifts and things that you don't really expect um yeah i do think they're a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
big old softy in some probably very creative and imaginative as well um yeah travel even if it's not physical travel it's like yeah moving forward friendship they'll offer you friendship above everything else um so if you aren't attracted to them and you don't want anything from them they could well make a very nice companion for you in the way of like going out into the world and traveling and going to i don't know i've got a cruise in my head i've had that in my head the last couple of days or was it two days ago in one of my readings like a cruise in my head and i'm like are you mad <laughs> like with coronavirus can't imagine being stuck on a ship with loads of people but yeah that's in my head um they would be happy to have you as a friend if nothing else if you like this person in a way of yeah be companions and go around places and see the world together and experience things they'll be happy to take that and if you are romantically interested in them there'll be a friendship underpinning it it's quite a few couples that don't have the friendship they just have the coupley things yeah so that's nice manifestation They've been waiting for the right time, absolutely. I think this person's really nice. I think nearly most of my readings today have been, yeah, I like this person's energy. That's nice. I don't often get to say that. If you watch me, I'm pretty honest with how I'm feeling. Um, one, one thing I will say is like, when this person comes forward to you and you're not, if you're not interested romantically, tell them, just be upfront with them because I think they value you, you as a person, so they would be happy with any kind of connection with you. Um, but I've got a feeling that you like them as well, and I've got a feeling you know who they are, and I've got a feeling you've been waiting for them to get through this divorce, get the papers signed, get themselves to the point of letting you know. Yeah, so come back and let me know what happens and everything. Bookmark this reading. Get a little notebook for your tarot reading and go, right, I watched this on this day. I'm going to come back and come back and tell me genuinely to come back and tell me. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. If you've made it to this point, well done. You're now part of the Purple Heart Gang. Hardly any Purple Hearts make it to the end of the reading, especially when I start winding down. I really appreciate you taking your bubble of protection. Opening and closing of energy for me is so important. It's an important part of my rituals. If you feel this reading was for you, put a like on it. Or come back in the future, revisit it and put a like on it. Um, then I'll know the message was delivered. I will see you soon. <laughs>